honor of this great country of ours, I'm going to ask our senior members of the symphonic choir to join Mr. Heckethorn in our symphonic choir for the Star Spangled Banner. Senior Wesley Green, son of Edwin and Sarah Green, is the soloist. Before we get started, I'd like to first make some introductions to the audience of those involved in this special affair. On the stage with me is the superintendent of Chillicothe Schools, Dr. Dennis Leone. We also have the director of all campus programs at Pickley Ross uh, Career Technical Center, Ms. Nadine Bellich. Elected to serve the City School District on our Board of Education are the following, and please hold your applause. President, the Reverend J. Troy Gray. Our Vice President, Mr. Rick Vollmer, uh, was unable to be here tonight. He uh, has a personal illness at home. Mr. Randy Davies, uh, Mr. Mark Gray, and Mr. Bill Schmieder. Ladies and gentlemen, your Board of Education. In attendance tonight in our audience serving and guiding our school district in the administrative office, we have our assistant superintendent and curriculum director, Ms. Joyce Atwood, along with Mr. Lawrence Butler, the superintendent's administrative assistant, Mr. Robert Ryan, our people services director, and Mr. Stacy Ogley, the treasurer of the city schools. Please stand and be recognized. Chillicothe High School's leadership team includes the following, and please hold your applause for Mrs. Elizabeth Montgomery, Mr. Jeff Hobbs, Assistant Principals, uh, Mr. Bill Dennis, the Dean of Students, and Mr. Ray Bradley, the CHS Athletic Director. Ladies and gentlemen, the CHS leadership team. The counseling staff here at CHS includes the following, Ms. Marie Washington, Mr. David Higgs, and this year's senior counselor, Ms. Angie Walls. <laughs> Elected to receive our graduates by the senior class, is, it's always a special treat for the faculty to serve in this capacity. We have Mr. Napoleon Cross and Mr. Tony Woods. And we couldn't have put this on without the help of the maintenance department for the physical arrangements along with our own custodial staff. I'd like to thank them for their efforts of a dual setup on a cool and uh, uh, but a gorgeous day that we've got here today. 
They, along with our, their administrative assistant, Mrs. Jane Leischer and Ms. Karen Streitenberg, are responsible for all the details that make this event so very special. Please join me in their recognition. And now a word for you graduates. Seems like such a short time ago I was walking you to CHS during our freshman orientation during the summer of 1998. During your four years here, you have distinguished yourselves in academics, the arts, and athletics. From the senior play to the art shows to the playing fields of the OCC, the music competitions for chorus, band, and orchestra, and the state championships, you've won numerous awards throughout your careers. Our veteran staff is one of our greatest assets, and they've helped guide you. Over half of our teachers here have advanced degrees. They're also the reason why our curriculum, our extracurricular activities, and our overall educational programs are successful. Graduation is a kindergarten through a 12th grade endeavor. Would all of the faculty and staff of the Chillicothe School District please stand and be recognized at this time? I remember the first meeting we had back in August when we spoke about the 2002 graduation and how quickly it would arrive. Assemble here today will be the last time you're all together. Look around at your friends' faces, and many of you will not see again. In a very true sense, your life journey begins today. Many, uh, some of you will start this journey this summer entering the military to serve and honor this country in its armed services. This path you have chosen holds special significance with America's response to the events of September 11th. You will join the ranks of other veterans who have made personal sacrifices to advance the freedoms that this class is about to enjoy. With all the 2002 graduates who have made plans to enter the military, as well as all of our veterans in attendance today, please stand as we honor you with a heartfelt round of applause. Others have picked up valuable trade skills both here at CHS and at the Pickway Ross Career and Trade and Technical Center and will continue to hone your skills and talents as you take a place in America's great workplace. Many of you will fan out to universities across the country, from California to Massachusetts, North Carolina and Colorado, just to name a few. It's important to note that members representing your class have received over $2 million in college scholarships. About 65% of you have made plans to continue your education. The staff and I will miss all of you, and I hope that you become successful model citizens as you take your place in the community. For when you come back, you'll join the ranks of our proud alumni. Today, you represent a proud heritage that stretches back 144 years to the 1850s. They found theirs and have paved the way for you. My best wishes for a wonderful, full life accompany each of you as you graduate tonight. Good luck, and may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.
There will be an additional musical selection that will be, will be performed at this time. It is a number that is not shown on the commencement program. It will be performed by the entire CHS Symphonic Choir. Um, so as the non-senior members of the choir join in and get set, I will tell you a little bit about what you're going to hear. This choir qualified for state competition last month. They received a superior rating in class AA, the most difficult division. Only a few choirs ever have done this at CHS. They had to sing three songs, two they could pick, and one which was assigned to them by state officials. The one they were assigned is the one that you will hear now. And let me tell you, I saw, this before, I saw them perform this song at state, and it was special. So at this time, I am pleased to introduce the entire CHS Symphony Choir under the direction of Joel Heckethorn singing, Oh Danny Boy. It gives me great pleasure to announce our next speaker. Nathaniel Tanai Jean Witt is a talented and compassionate young man. Outside of school, he has played the piano and violin since his early youth and recently earned awards from the National Fraternity of Student Musicians. 
In addition, he serves his community through dedicated volunteer service to the patients at the Dean Regional Medical Center and at Westmoreland Nursing Home. As a leader, he has served as quiz team captain, vice president of the Triam Honor Society, and freshman class and student council treasurer. Athletically, he has played soccer and tennis for the CHS tennis teams and has taken part in several tournaments outside of school. Next year, he will attend Stanford University on a PPG scholarship to study computer science and business. And I'd like to also make note that he is a National Merit Scholar in our valedictorian. Please welcome Nathaniel Tanai Jane Witt. As we have in the past, 
we will face these challenges with all of our ability and spirit. And in so doing, they will hone our judgment and reasoning, and above all, lead us to greater self-awareness. We have been tested many times in the past, and the future will likely bring new and greater trials. In our separate journeys, we will take separate roads. Alone, we will determine our inner metal and explore the range of our ability. We will come to understand ourselves better and also the nature of our human spirit, ambition, and compassion. In embarking on this voyage, we will part with our former prejudices and misconceptions, thereby opening ourselves to the wider perspective of diversity and worldliness, to meet the trials of the future, a mind understanding of differences, and open to the possibilities of the novel, will prove a powerful tool in improving our community, our world and society, and ourselves. In addition, we will also say goodbye to other aspects of the past. We bid farewell to the teachers and coaches who have worked hard to pass on to us their ability and knowledge. And no less important, we also part with our families, our friends, and our homes. We leave behind the security of the environment we so long know. Yet, despite these changes, our farewells are ultimately twofold. We simultaneously open our arms to new and exciting places, to bold and unknown possibilities. We will open our minds to new and different perspectives, to worldly ideas and unbiased vision. And we will open our hearts to the possibilities for greater human compassion. And we will accept the change that comes with our farewell. In conclusion, by bidding farewell to the past and by embracing the future and the change it implies, our eyes open to the possibilities for progress in our world. The future holds much in store for us with the advent of the new and the exciting. And it also holds for us the possibility to bridge the gaps and chasms of human understanding and gain introspective insights. In welcoming this future, we will say farewell, but with us, we will take our experience, our self-awareness, and our enduring spirits to improve both our world and ourselves through the challenges we face. This is the destiny of our class, the CHS class of 2002. Thank you. Best wishes and farewell. Is Annette Ratcliffe. Annette is the daughter of Steve and Jane Ratcliffe of Chillicothe. She's been involved in several extracurricular activities during her four years of high school. Annette's been a member of the Spanish Club, Girl Soccer Team, Just Cause, National Spanish Honor Society, the National Honor Society, and has played in the orchestra. In addition to her school activities, Annette has been an active member of the 4-H participating in the Ross County Junior Leaders and Ross County Junior Fair Board. This past fall, Annette was awarded the Jack and Sue Mathis Ellis Scholarship from Ohio University in Athens. It will cover tuition, room and board, and summer enrichment programs for four years of undergraduate study. Annette is planning on majoring in biology with a focus on pre-veterinary medicine. And she is our salutatorian. So please welcome Annette as she gives her speech, Life's a Dance.
administrative officials, parents, and fellow graduates. Tonight, we celebrate our passage from one phase of our lives to another. Commencement is supposed to mean the beginning of something. So why does it feel like the end? This can be a bittersweet time for some. We've looked forward to this day for a long time, yet when it is upon us, we can't help but look back. In the past few days, our minds have been flooded with past memories, both good and bad. We have come to realize that the time has finally come for us to say goodbye. But before we do, let's take one last look at our childhood. Thirteen years ago, when we walked into kindergarten class, we were excited to be starting something new. We met new people, many of whom are here today. Our enthusiasm and energy seemed limitless. Crowns, jungle gyms, and show and tell tantalized us. However, it wouldn't take long for us to settle into a routine. Elementary school consisted of spelling bees, multiplication tables, and recess. When fifth grade ended, it was time to move on to middle school. <laughs> Throughout middle school, we labored to cope with maturity and responsibility. We began exploring different interests and developing personalized views about people and events around us. When we started high school four years ago, we were still at an awkward stage in our lives. The hallways seemed to extend for miles and the faces we saw seemed unfamiliar and foreign. As high school progressed, we settled into football games, formal dances, and harder classes. Now, at the end of our senior year, the hallways still seem long, but the faces are familiar ones, classmates we've known and loved for years. For the past four years, this class has been like a family. Today, as we go our separate ways, we need to remember not to let our family fall apart. The past is an important tool to learn from, but today it is imperative for us to look to the future. Though we may not know exactly what is in store for us, now is the time we decide what direction we take. Some of us will go to college next fall, some will enter the workforce, and still others will serve in the armed forces. No matter what direction we take, we will always share that we graduated from Chillicothe High School in 2002. That is a special bond that will never be broken. The world we're about to enter is not an ideal one. It's a place where the weak are pushed aside and the strong must fight amongst themselves. Our years here at CHS have been sheltered and protected. Now it is time for us to venture out from behind that protection and explore the world around us. We must take the initiative and take an active role in shaping our future. One way we can do that is by furthering our education. Knowledge is the most powerful weapon we could ever possess. Whether you go to college or not, never stop learning. No matter how inhospitable the world becomes, knowledge is the one thing that can never be taken away. Our accomplishments reflect not only on ourselves, but also on all those who stood behind us, encouraging us to do our best. Today, we must, give, we must stop and give our thanks to those who have made this day possible. To our teachers, for their never-ending support and constant nagging, we thank you. Without you, we would not have been able to achieve as much as we have. As you look upon the class of 2002, I hope you are pleased with the fruits of your labor. To our parents, who put up with constant whining, hectic sports schedules, and report cards that could have been better, we thank you. It is your unconditional love and support that has sustained us for this four years of high school. I know that you are proud of us, and I hope you know how grateful we are to have parents like you. Without a good foundation, a building cannot stand. For the last 13 years, you have been our foundation, and we want to say thank you. To so my parents and grandparents, I love you all, and I appreciate your hard work. 
and the sacrifices you made to get me here today. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. In the future, we will experience both pain and pleasure, success and failure, and we will learn as we go. My advice to my fellow graduates is this. Life is a dance, you learn as you go. Sometimes you'll lead and sometimes you'll follow. But don't worry about what you don't know because life is a dance, you'll learn as you go. Life is a dance and whether you move quick or slow, you will always get to your destination. I hope that you learn from your mistakes, teach others what you know, and enjoy whatever you do. I want to thank each and every one of you for the memories, and I wish you good luck. Remember, no matter what direction you take, we always can't, we all start from the same place. I sincerely hope I will get to dance with all of you in the future. Thank you. Brian Stewart. Brian is the son of Joe Stewart and Tammy Stewart. He has been active in the drama department and held a lead role in the school play each of his four years here at CHS. He has played the violin in the school orchestra and played on the basketball team. This year, Brian won first place in the Rotary Club's four-way speech contest and was the Southeast District's state winner for the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Essay Contest. In the fall, Brian will attend The Ohio State University and will major in political science. His title of his speech is Something to be Proud of. Please welcome Brian Stewart. In 1828, in Illinois, a small town boy our age was working a simple job on a ferry boat. When he wasn't on the boat, he was on the farm. When he wasn't on the farm, he was in a log cabin with dirt floors. <laughs> Teaching himself to read by candlelight, this boy had only one year of formal education before he became president of the United States. This boy was Abraham Lincoln. In 1564, in England, another boy was being apprenticed to a butcher by his bankrupt father. In and out of the primitive grammar schools of the day, this boy also had very little education where he took to the London theater scene and became known as the greatest writer in English history. This boy was William Shakespeare. As the teachers and parents squirm in their seats, let me clarify that I am not saying who needs school. Instead, I'm saying, if they did it with one year, think of what we can do with 12. This diploma we receive is important. It is a testament to what you and I have learned and accomplished in the majority of our lives thus far. We all have our differences. Here in Chillicothe, we have people from all walks of life, different in race, different in culture, different in wealth. And here at Chillicothe High School, we all go to school together. We learn together, we talk together, we make friends with one another. And this is something to be proud of. Not every school has a student body of diverse as ours, and yet we make it work. As we leave today, let us remember all of these things we've had in common, and just a few things that are uniquely Chillicothe. <laughs> we have our beloved country fried steak. <laughs> By no means could it ever truly be classified as steak, but it has been delicious nonetheless. We have our building itself, built in the ever so convenient design of almost completely flat and a mile long. <laughs> but still a great place to go to school. I think we all have the meat. Uh, by now, most of us are immune to her charms, which has given us the opportunity to make fun of all of our Columbus rivals who look at each other and constantly ask, what's that smell? And now, we're all graduating. With that, let me issue a challenge to all of us together. Let us not look on this graduation as an end, but rather as a beginning. Let us not look at it merely as the legal excuse 
to sleep in and do nothing, but rather as the first step on the road to being a productive citizen. Every class has its high and low moments that will be remembered once they leave. As a class, let us strive to reach the ultimate high moment, which is each of us being beneficial, successful, and happy in whatever we choose to do. And finally, be proud of this town, be proud of this school, but most importantly, be proud of yourself. Because today, with this diploma, you deserve it. Thank you very much. Side of the cafeteria. The juniors have already moved in. The day after you left, the juniors were out there sitting. And they're not even seniors yet. But that's okay, right? Because it's tradition. I learned a long time ago from my mother that wiser people value history and tradition. There will be nothing wrong in the future with you questioning the traditions that are around you. But it will be just as important for you to value the history that applies to the traditions you question. I remember when I was in high school, I drove my mother crazy. She'd always say to me, when I didn't like some rule at school, that maybe there was some history that I didn't know, some tradition involved, a tradition that I was not close to, something that I had not considered. And you know what? She was right more than she was wrong. I ask the graduates here this evening to value the traditions that are available to you. It's okay to disagree, but sometimes you need to slow down a bit and take advantage of what others have learned before you. Don't be too quick to assume that there has to be a better way. Try to keep things in proper perspective. And remember that there just might have been others in front of you who have already walked the same path. My mother passed away recently. There are so many things I wish I would have said to her five years ago, ten years ago. I feel that I never quite expressed enough appreciation. I was always too busy. The truth is, I should have said long ago, Mom, you know what? You were right. Those rules and traditions that were bothering me, they make sense now. And there were so many other things I should have said to her. Graduates, don't make the same mistake I made. If you have a family member here tonight, or a special friend who's not here, or someone who has been there for you, someone who has constantly supported you, even when you were wrong, someone who has made a difference in your life, then thank that person tonight. Or call them on the phone, or write them a letter. But do it. It's the right thing to do. Don't wait to say thank you. And it will mean so much to the person that you say it to. I offer my congratulations tonight to the class of 2002. I have known a number of you since you were in the eighth grade. 
You have been part of traditions here that have meant a lot to your community and it have meant a lot to me. Whether it's the crazy 12th man section that was over there in the pouring rain, or the grand march before the prom, or the review, our talent show, or our superior performance musically, or outstanding performances on the stage, or our vocational students excelling at the JBS, the Pickaway Ross Career Technology Center. These are traditions that simply do not exist in a lot of high schools. And I appreciate what all of you have done to keep these traditions going at CHS. Please do your part to keep another tradition going after tonight. That being the tradition of CHS graduates who come back to visit and attend sporting activities, concerts, plays, and musicals. I thought I'd close this evening with some words of wisdom that were offered by my school superintendent at my high school graduation. The only problem is that I don't remember one darn thing he said. <laughs> so that, that means it's time for me to stop and sit down. Thank you, class of 2002, for your friendship and for making CHS a better place. Good luck to you. First, give honor to God, for even in the midst of what we as family members are feeling today, we know that he's worthy to be praised. If it had not been for God on our side, where would we be right now? As I began to think about what I might be able to say today, I know that there are political leaders and those in the state that say that we should not be able to pray and to do anything religious in this event. But what they fail to realize is as long as there are tests in school, there will always be prayer in school. thinking about what I could say. I've been on the Board of Education now for 11 years. I first got on the board when my daughter Rochelle was in the first grade. And I've been through many Board of Educations and many commencement exercises, but this was a little bit different for me because my daughter is about to graduate. Today at church this morning, we began to recognize all of our young people that were graduating from high school. As I sat there, I said, I'm not going to cry, and I was the first one that was boo-hooing and crying. <laughs> But I began to think about all the things that we all go through in life, and I just think about how good things are. The first thing I would like to do here today is I'm going to ask if all the parents that are here today, if the parents of the young people today would stand up. <laughs> now, class of 2002, stand up and give your parents a round of applause. You may be seated. Several years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King had a speech. and said, I say unto you today that even though we must face the difficult days that lie ahead, he said, I still have a dream. He said, it's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. He had a dream that one day this nation will rise up to the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I began to sit here and think about all of you here today. You have a dream. I know that you're excited. I know that you can't wait to be on your own. I can't know you can't wait to go to Myrtle Beach on your visits and to do all that you're bad enough to do. But parents, we got something coming because one day they're going to have children and they're going to put them through as much as they put through us. Amen? <laughs> so we're going to sit there and I'm going to laugh one day at my daughter Rochelle and say, uh-huh, you're getting back everything you did to me. <laughs> As you begin to leave here today, you're going to go in many, many different directions. 22 years ago, I graduated from Chillicothe High School in 1980. When I graduated from high school, there were many people that told me I would not be able to do anything. In fact, that I wouldn't amount to a whole lot. There were 365 students that graduated in our graduating class in 1980. I was in the rank of around 320. That's not very good. The guidance department looked at me and said, you probably should go to the military and be a cook. I don't know if that was because of my great physique or they just thought I liked to eat. <laughs> I began to think about all of that and I began to go in many different ways, but I realized that my beginnings did not dictate my ending. 
Just because life started out one way for me did not mean that it wasn't going to end another way. What I'm saying to you as young people today, you're about to begin a new challenge in your life. Some of you are going to college, some of you are going to the military, some of you are just going to go to the workforce. But all I can say to you as a young person here today, be the best that you can be. That in life you're going to go through struggles, you're going to go through adversity, you're going to have people downgrade you and try to put you down. But even in spite of everything that folks may do to you, your greatest lessons are going to be the lessons that you learned through all the difficult times that you've been through. If it hadn't been for my struggles, if it hadn't been for the difficult times in my life, I would not have been able to be where I am right now. Not that I'm anything all that great right now, but I'm not what I used to be. And right now, you are going to be the leaders that are going to change our community. You're going to be the ones that are going to make a difference in this society. No matter what folks say at you, keep moving and keep being the best that you can be. When you fall down and you feel like not getting up, get back up again. There are going to be moments in your life where you're going to feel like giving up. There are going to be moments in your life where you're going to feel like throwing in the towel. There are going to be moments in your life where you're going to wish mom and dad was around, but they rooted something on the inside of your soul that in the midst of everything that you face, you're going to be able to go through the midst of the storm if you stand and stand for the right thing. If you don't stand for something, You'll fall for anything. And so all I'm trying to say to you as a young person in today, be the best that you can be. Folks told me I couldn't be where I was when I was 28 years old. I was elected to the Board of Education. I was the youngest member in the history of this community to get that. Am I saying that to get a pat on the back? No, I'm saying that because the same person that 22 years ago they looked at and said that I was going to be a cook somewhere, I was able to come and cook their breakfast and do things in the school system. You've got to understand that your beginnings don't dictate your ending. What they say you are, you don't have to be. What's on the inside of your spirit, what's on the inside inside of your soul, you can do all things. If you want to be a doctor, be the best term doctor there is. If you want to be a garbage collector, be the best term garbage collector there is. But be the best at what you are, because you've got to work hard to make it in this life. And finally, as I close, I'm reminded of a story that I was told not long ago. There was a young man that was in the South, and he grew up in an environment that was very poverty-stricken. He didn't have much at all. In fact, everybody in his neighborhood and all those that were around him didn't have anything. And as we began to look his neighborhood, there were those that were doing drugs, drinking, smoking blunt, smear offs, and all that other kind of stuff that I know y'all know what I'm talking about. And we began to do all these things, and he decided that within himself, he was not going to allow his circumstance or his surroundings to stop him from getting to the place that he wanted to be. He wanted to go to school to be a doctor, but he didn't have any money. So he applied for grants and scholarship, and he got accepted to Yale University. And the last thing I want to say is a piece of advice that his grandmother gave him. His grandmother was a woman that didn't only have a fifth grade education. She began to look at her grandson that was bright and had all kinds of smarts and had a full ride scholarship to this Ivy League school. She looked at the boy and she said, I know that you got a lot of stuff. And you look around you and you grew up with not much of nothing at all. But I'm going to tell you something. I may not have the best education in the world. But she looked at him and she said, son, be who you is and not who you ain't. Because if you ain't who you is, you is who you ain't. And what she was trying to say is, you've got to be who you are. Don't try to be a replica of somebody else because nobody can beat you being you but you. You're a champion. You're somebody special. You're the greatest thing that walked in Chillicothe. You think you got it going on, you got it going on. You were rooted and grounded in the right stuff. No matter where you are, say, I am somebody. I am special. I can do anything I want to if God is with me. Now, I stand here today. There's a lot of struggles that you go through in life, but you got to get back up again. Turn your say, get back up again. No matter what happens in your life, don't give up. Folks will hate you if you succeed. Folks will look at you and get mad because you succeed. But keep on succeeding anyhow. Don't let anybody stop you in your dreams. They told me 12 years ago that I couldn't, but God said that you could. And so root up something on the inside and be the best that you can. And when you get in the midst of struggle, just shake it off. Just shake up all the struggles, all the midst of the storms. You're going to be somebody. Good luck. Be the best you can. And in 10 years, we'll come back.
back to the reunion and say, yeah, it was a good thing to have been a truck out in high school, the greatest high school in southeastern Ohio. Woo! excited about your new beginning. When I look at my daughter Rochelle, I began to cry and began to think of when she walked in the kindergarten class of Mrs. Grove's class. And I remember I used to comb her hair and give her little pigtails. Now she begins to get weaves. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but she looks good in the inside and, and I can't wait for her to move to the next level of her life. I can't wait for her to be the person that she's looking forward to you being the best that you can be. So as I close, just hold on and be who he is, and not who he ain't. Because if he ain't who he is, you is who he ain't. Thank you. Hello, Shelby County High School. It's my pleasure and privilege at this time present to you the class of 2002. The students... The students who have met all the requirements of the State of Ohio Department of Education and of Chillicothe High School, certified by the Chillicothe City Board of Education, are entitled to receive the diploma signifying graduation from Chillicothe High School. At this time, members of the Board of Education, Dr. Leon and myself, will be assisted by Beth Montgomery, Jeff Hobbs, and Bill Dennis in the presentation of the diplomas. Patterson Ames, Jessica Renee Arnold, Brooke Nicole Barron, Christopher Michael Davy, Michael Lucas Benson, Elise Kathleen Burgess. Laura Christine Corcoran. Christina Joanne Davy. Victoria Christina DeSantis. Justin LaRue Etling. Stacy Jane Everson. Angela Diane Hugit. Rebecca Marie Galloway. Lindsay K. Gillum. Miranda Jade Hay. Ryan Scott Holstein. Wesley Allen Hughes. Kevin A. Jones. Jennifer Michelle Wong.
Sonia Nicole McLaughlin. Jennifer Beth Miller. Michelle Lynn Muller. Moran Nicole Nussbaum. Matthew David Oates. Michael Henry Oney. Oney. Michael Henry Oney. Elizabeth Ann Oyer. Rebecca Ann Paul. Heather Melissa Parks. Sarah Catherine Artie. Neva S. Patel. Andrew Lewis Pearson. Andrea Leota Purdom. Emily Joy Ralston. Crystal Michelle Rose. Kathleen Noel Schultz. Jason Alexander Stevens. Ashley Elizabeth Stoltz. Leslie Ann Sweeney. Renee Suzanne Tanner. Caitlin Elizabeth Walbright. Vanessa Lynn Walls. Megan Marie White. Misty Dawn Wright. Lisa Marie Anner. Gregory Jason Ball. <laughs> Tiffany Raquel Bates. <laughs> Ashley Brooke Branson. <laughs> Zachary Edwards Graff. <laughs> Kelly Ann Breidenball. Christopher Ryan Brock. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Charney. <laughs> Abby Jane Coates. <laughs> Jennifer Allen Caulfield. Amanda Lynn Cutler. Brianne Nicole Davis. Jennifer Elizabeth Derrickson. Heather N. Deal. Ashley Ray Distant. John Nicholas Downing Jr. <laughs> Ashley Brooke Fairchild. <laughs> Bruce M. Gray Jr. <laughs> Chelsea Elizabeth Green. Go Chelsea Green! Heather Marie Hawk. 
Ashley Danielle Johnson. Rochelle Diane Joseph. There's your fan club. Courtney Lynn Kerr. Christina Renee Leary. Bradley Edward Netherton. Charlie Timothy Nussbaum. Charlie Chicken Soup! Oh, no, she don't. <laughs> Megan Lynn Oyer. <laughs> Zachary Russell Phillips. <laughs> Heather Lynn Pickleson. Valerie Michelle Potter. Susan Renee Queen. <laughs> Jimmy Eunice Ramsey. Good job, Heather. <laughs> Nicholas Andrew Reese. <laughs> Julie Ann Robb. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Robb. Catherine Elaine Sherman. James Robert Skinner. Lauren Christine Smith. Whitney Gail Turner. David Matthew Best. Kara Ray Bickerel. Jack Dale Vokal. Rachel Nicole Watson. Emily Jordan Whalen. Daniel Ryan Wilkshire. James Allen Young. Destiny Rebecca Lynn Adams. Michael Joseph Adams II. Stephanie Catherine Allen. Chaz Leslie Anderson. Matthew Henry Oranger. Benjamin Joseph Bagdon. Brian Scott Bailey. Matthew David Ball. Josh William Bowen. Robert Corey Barlow. Joseph Michael Beardsley. Kelly Ashley B. Jessica Nicole Bell. Tamika Danielle Files. Seth Douglas Blewett. Ryan John Wiley. Adam Joseph Bobo. Philip Dean Boko. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Besh. Stephanie. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 
Christy May Bond. Keith Allen Bowman Jr. Brooke Ashley Boydston. Mark A. Boyer. Nathan Eric Brinke. Shannon Nicole Brown. Jenna Lynn Bunstein. Brian Edward Burt. Dustin Robert Carroll. Jeremiah David Carroll. Stephen Paul Chapin. Brandon Roy Cheadle. Kara Dawn Clark. Christopher Mark Daniel. Crystal Dawn Klein. Tanya Marie Comfort. Jordan Michael Cousins. Adam L. Cox. Keisha E. Cromer. Jessica Marie Daniel. Danielle May Dennis. Amber Dawn Denny. Thomas Adam Deal. Thomas Edward Dillingham Jr. Scott Matthew Doles. April E. Downs. Paula Christine Gentile. Joni Lee Grable. Michelle Christina Gray. Michael Green. Michael K. Green. Samantha Ann Green. Wesley Adam Green. Mark Allen Freesimer. Crystal Dawn Groves. Charles Patrick Harrison. Patrick Franklin Hall. Dustin William Hayburn. Michael Dale Harrington. Tammy Lynn Pines. James Martin Hinman. Aaron Edward Hobensack. David H. Holderman II. Ryan Andrew Holdren. Courtney Rachel Hudson. April Luann Hughes. Dwayne Allen Ison. Brandon Scott Jones. Carolyn Ann Jones. William H. Jones. 
Rachel Hyatt Kramer. James Walker Leach. Cesare Allen Eugene. Jesse Lee Lent. Thomas Michael Littler. Daniel Alberto Lopez. Randy Marie Madrew. Gretchen Renee Madrew. Stephen Daniel Mallory. Joanna Elizabeth Marquez. Philip Ryan May. Carmen Monique McCoy. Eric Anthony McCoy. Kimberly Ann McCoy. Justin Douglas Park Metzler. Garrett Riley Miller. Zachary Arthur Carl Mitchell. Chad Nevin Montgomery. Jeremy John Montgomery. Tamara Joe Morris. <laughs> Stephanie May Moss. James Lee Mullins. Allison Lynn Musser. Nicole Ann Marie Nichols. Elizabeth Jean Nolan. Dustin Richard Nussbaum. Justin Michael Oates. Russell Todd Odom. Paul Robert Olory. Sean William O'Rourke. Andrew Spencer Ortman. Andrew James Page. Stephen Allen Park. Norell Payen. Christopher Neil Hazan. Nicole Alexandria Peacock. Shane Allen Penrod. Christopher Allen Perry. Carly Ray Preston. Christopher O. Price. Nicholas Jason Pritchard. Bobby Sue Perot. Brand Lee June Reagan. Courtney Michelle Ramsey. John Lee Ray. Brian Michael Rice. 
Roger T. K. Ryder. Chad Eric Reinhardt. Nathan James Reinhardt. Pearl Don Robinson. Colin Patrick Rhodes. Sarah Nicole Rouse. Adam Henry Rouse. Douglas Roy Russell. Jason Hubbard Sally. Good luck, Mr. Stephanie Ann Sanders. William August Smeeter the second. Jamie Nicole Schuler. Julie Ann Sells. Amy Jean Sin. Mark Joseph Seymour. Matthew Allen Shepherd. Jody Lynn Simmons. Stacey Andrew Smith. Christopher Brian Smith. Jared Mitchell Smith. Jenna Rose Smith. Jesse Allen Smith. Joshua Christopher Smith. Glenn Leroy Sparks Jr. Stacy Nicole Spears. Matthew Gregory Speck. Nathan Andrew Stepp. <laughs> Troy Allen Sullivan.
Carly Ann Whitaker. James William White. Kia Whiting. Joshua Lee Woodmire. Roger Allen Williams II. Cora Marie Wingo. Amanda K. Wolf. Larry Adam Wolf. Alicia Joe Woodfork. Jason Lee Woods. Tiffany Marie Wright. Yeah. <laughs> 